think that so much of my persona and everything was wrapped up in the sport. I think to my surprise that with or without the competing, I'm still who I am and what I've accomplished still stands. And it's a very nice feeling to know that my whole world just hasn't been a you know, full <laughs> 180 and I get to kind of live in this kind of glow of my sporting career. But then again, a new door is open and I really feel like I'm kind of more now myself than I've ever been. There was the competitor and there was all that in me and that's still in me, but I feel like now I have a new take on life. I think there's a big difference though between hitting a wall and then just like brutal repetition <laughs> at times. I say brutal because I would just do something over and over and over so that it just felt like the most natural thing to me, just like walking down the street. You don't have to think about it. I always had a hard time balancing like repetition with, hey, I've actually hit a, a breaking point where I'm not getting any better, I'm not improving. And those are the hardest times to walk away when somebody's like, just take a minute. And you're like, no, I'm so close, I'm so close. Like it takes patience and practice to be able to walk away and come back to it. My parents, when I was younger, they knew that the sport had the element of risk. There were crashes, there were things, things can go wrong, we would see it all the time. But my mom came to me and was just like, look, I don't care if there's cameras, I don't care if the sponsor's there, I don't care if I'm telling you to do it, if you're not comfortable doing something, you don't have to do it. So I remember carrying that with me through my career and I get to a, a setup where all this money's been spent, there's a giant jump, we're filming a commercial or something and it's windy, it's icy, the visibility's low and this was the only day to shoot and they're like, well, you go hit the jump. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> like, it's something in me not feeling right. And, and I think having the ability in my back pocket that I knew I could walk away really helped get me through my career. I think I avoided a lot of pitfalls of injuries and things and putting myself in harm's way when it was unnecessary. I started this brand White Space with my brother and my friend and it's just been so rewarding. We're building not only these product lines that I get to test and approve and just try to keep that competitive part of my brain going. Where I'm like, how can I make this board even better? Let's get this material, let's try that out. But then on the other side of it, we're looking at sponsoring and mentoring these really young, talented snowboarders from all over the world. So it's definitely weird to be on that side of the fence, but I'm, I'm enjoying it, it's been fun. As far as balance goes, when you get consumed by something, like the way that snowboarding did for me, it's an amazing feeling to just like lose yourself in something and get fully engulfed in competition and tricks. And I think at times, you know, I definitely dipped into this sort of unhealthy space of just being consumed by sport and winning and what's next and, and, and not really enjoying the process as much. And I think now that I've gotten a bit older, I've found the ability to balance work and my life and not convoluting the two is the same. <laughs> it's tough to walk away, but I think you'll find that taking a break really lets you hear the tune in a different way.